We're going diving on the Cocos Keelinger Islands today, and this old girl, now she's seen a bit of action, she's seen a few dives, a bit like our dive master, but that's what I like, experience when we're going under the okay, water. Okay, if you've got experience, how about you get that gear up here on board for got us? It, got it. <laughs> Dieter Gerhard from Cocos Dive has a reputation as one of the safest dive masters in the Indian Ocean. He also likes to get everybody on board the boat to work as a team, so first test is launching the boat. Excellent. Dieter likes to get underway by 8.30 and there's no rushing this man of the islands until he pulls away from the West Island. Yep, can see why he wanted us to put our work suits on so early. Our faithful dive boat is what is known as a wet boat. And wet we are, which means when we see these guys, it's pretty easy to hop over and follow them. The dolphins were just a wetter appetite. For the main event, we need to gear up and over the side. One, two, three, lift the knees. Beautiful. First up, Dita takes us to meet the locals. We're ignored by a turtle, but these guys are more than happy to come out en masse to say hello. This spot is called Cologne Gardens and it's famed for its corals and abundance of fish life. The colours are a bit dark because it's pretty deep here. Check out how smart this coral is. In a sea of green and blue and brown, it makes its own phosphorescent red. Clownfish hide in the most elegant anemones. So how do you follow up a dive like that? Well, with lunch, of course, off to Direction Island, where it turns out our dive master is also a pretty good chef. Big cups of warm soup are a surprise, but once you put your hands around the mug after diving to such depths, a really welcome treat. While you're on the island, if you're feeling energetic, head for this spot, the Rip. It's not a dive, but a snorkel. The colours up here are a little brighter because there's more light penetrating close to the surface. Of course, if all you want to do is laze around and swim, you can do that too. Just make sure you're on the boat when it leaves out from Cozzy's Beach for dive spot number two. Over the edge again, but a much different dive to before, with some old wrecks making some great hiding holes. Yep, wouldn't mess with her. Then it's time to glide over to the drop-off, and it does just drop off. Ever have a feeling you're being watched? These guys are just grey nurses and reef sharks and you find them all over the place down here. You just need to sit and watch. Dita is an amazing host, both above and under the water. While you're busy taking everything in, he is busy watching you. And when your time is up, it's back to the surface. Disappointment quelled by a massive pod of dolphins escorting us home to where the serious work begins. When you come to Cocos, you're going to love this dive. You're going to love this dive master. They really go out of their way to make you feel like part of the, what's this, the Cocos family? Our Cocos family, yes. The Cocos. We've signed you up. You're now part of the family. I'm here. 